Hello, and welcome to the daily number workout. Today, we are working on the number 38. So let's go ahead and write it in word form. 30, T-H-I-R-T-Y, eight, E-I-G-H-T. And because it ends in an eight, that's even. So it is an even number since eight is in the ones place value. All right, let's go on to factors. So we have one times 38. Two goes into 38 because it's even. And two goes into 38 19 times. Three does not go into 38. Four does not go into 38. Five does not. Six does not. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and on and on. These are the only factor pairs of factors of 38. So since there's more than one in itself, it is not prime. Let's go on to multiples. So the first one, of course, is 38. And we're gonna move this up a smidgen so I can get my scrap paper out. And we're gonna do 38 times two. So two 38s, two times eight is 16. Drop the six, carry the one. Two times three is six plus one is seven. So 76, let's do three 38s. Three times eight is 24, drop the four, carry the two. Three times three is nine plus two is 11. So we have 114, four 38s. Four times eight is 32, drop the two, carry the three. Four times three is 12 plus three is 15. So our next number is 152. 38, let's do five 38s. Five times eight is 40. We drop the zero, carry the four. Five times three is 15 plus four is 19. 190. Then we have eight 38s, or I'm sorry, six 38s is next, silly me. Six times eight is 48. Drop the eight, carry the four. Six times three is 18 plus four is 22. Then we move on to 38 times seven. Seven times eight is 56, drop the six, carry the five. Seven times three is 21, plus five is 26. 266, 38 times eight. Eight times eight is 64, drop the four, carry the six. Eight times three is 24, plus six is 30. 304. The next multiple would be nine times 38. Eight times nine is 72, drop the two, carry the seven. Nine times three is 27, plus seven would be 34. 342, and then of course, any number times 10 is that number with a zero in the tens place, so that would be 380. There we have our multiples of 38. Good job. All right, let's move on to our next category, which is fractions, decimals, percents, and ratios. All right, so move this up a smidgen. Cards to take off before they fall off. All right, so we're talking 38 over 100 or 3,800. So that would be written 30. Eight hundredths with that TH because it's not a whole number. And we're looking up here, and these two numbers won't go into 100 evenly, but two will. So we're going to divide the top number by two and the bottom number by two. All right, you might need your scrap paper to do that. And so I'm going to get out bring your scrap paper back. Oops, that's kind of hard to do. Let me find some more scrap paper. All right, so real quick, we're gonna do these division problems. So if you haven't done them, 
get your scrap paper out and help me do them. So we're going to do 38 first and we're going to divide two in it. Two goes into three one whole time because one times two is two. We're going to subtract that out. Three minus two is one. And two doesn't go into one, so we got that column down. Let's drop the eight down. Two goes into 18 nine times. Nine times two is 18. We subtract that and we have zero, we're done. So our top number is gonna be 19. And our bottom number, let's go ahead and do that one. We haven't done this yet, so let's do it. One doesn't go, or I'm sorry, two doesn't go into one, so we have a little zero. Two goes into 10 five times, because five times two is 10. 10 minus 10 is nothing. We drop our next digit down. That's nothing. So we have to go up here and put something over it. Everything has to have something over it. So two goes into nothing zero times. So that would be 50. So that's how we divided into 100. Two times 50 is 100 and two times 19 is 38. All right, let's move on. So this is eight, 38 hundredths is equal to 19 fiftieths. All right, let's do our decimal which is zero and 38 hundredths. So let's write that zero and 38 hundredths. And that equals 38%. And when we are looking at that in ratio and we're talking about research and statistics, it will look like this. or this, or they might use percent decimals or fractions. But it's good to know that that's representing the same thing as these, they're all equal the same. And let's move on to our next category, which is money. Money is just the decimal, but when we're talking money, we have to make sure we honor that by putting the dollar symbol on that. So it's $0.38, zero dollars and 38 cents, zero dollars. And remember that an represents our decimal and 30, eight cents. There we have it. All right. Done with our top portion of our daily number workout. Let's move on to area perimeter. All right. So we're just looking at our factors up at the top. And our first one is 38 by one. So area is two dimensional. It is the width times the height or length. So this would be area equals 38 times one equals 38 square units. And square units are two dimensional. One, two. Perimeter, we're just adding up all the sides. So 38 plus one plus 38 plus one equals, well, we know two 38s is 76 from the top of our page. So 37, 38. I'm, I'm sorry, 76, 77, 78. Silly me. 78 units. And then we're going to draw this differently. So it's a one by 38. So now our area would be one times 38, which equals 38 square units. And our perimeter now would be a one plus 38 plus one plus 38 equals 78 units. All right, according to our, our factors, we can do two by 19. So let's do our 19 first by two. So this is going to be 19 by two. So area equals 19 times two, which equals 38 square units. The perimeter of that would be 19 plus two plus 19 plus two equals, well, we know 19 plus 19 is 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So 42 units, adding that up. And then if we change it up and we go this way, a two by 19, we have two times 19 equals 38 square units. 
Our perimeter is adding up the sides, two plus 19 plus two plus 19 equals, and we already did it up here. We just changed up the order. So 42 units, don't waste any time. All right, let's go on to volume. So our first volume, let's draw. I'm gonna pull this up a little bit. So I'm gonna draw a long skinny with some depth and height. Remember, our, hopefully you're getting good at drawing your cube. So this is 38 by one deep by one tall. So if we write that down, 38, and this would be volume equals 38 times one times one equals 38. And since it's one, two, three dimensional, it is cubic units. All right, let's go on and stand that baby up. So now it's gonna be a one by one by 38. So that would look like this, one by one by 38 equals 38 cubic units. All right, and then we can draw it this way. So it's a one by 38 by one tall. So that would be a one by 38. I'm gonna lose my card. By one equals 38 cubic units. And let's move on to our next category. So this one's three because there's only two numbers, 38 and one. So now let's go on to two. So let's do 19 by two by one. So now we're getting it more cubey, a little bit more cubey. It looks bigger than those, but I'm just drawing it 19 times two times one. So our volume would equal 19 times two times one, which equals 38 cubic units. So 19 times two is 38 times one is 38. All right, the next one would be 19 times one by two. We're just flip flopping those two numbers. So let's draw that one. So 19 across by one by two tall. So we're just standing the, the first one, this one up. So 19 by one by two equals 38 cubic units. All right, let's change it up again. We know we're gonna have six of these. So I'm just gonna draw them here so I can see where I can Draw them on my paper. So now let's go to two times 19 times one. And then let's go ahead and draw that one. So two, let's see, two across by 19 deep by one tall. So this is what it's gonna look like to the best of our ability. We're just two by 19 by one. So that would equal 38 cubic units because two times 19 is 38 times one is 38. All right, the next one would be two by one by 19. So I'm gonna come down here to draw that two by one by 19 tall. So we're just standing that one up. Two by one by 19 equals 38 cubic units. And now we gotta put the one first. So one by 19 by two. Let's see what that would look like. One by 19 by two. One by 19 by two, 38 cubic units. We're just changing how we're drawing it or stacking the cubes. One by two by 19. So one by two by 19. one by two by 19. Hopefully you found all those different ways. That's the fun part is just finding all the different ways that you can draw the same thing, different perspectives. Well, that's it for the number 38. I was gonna say 19, 38. So have a great day. I hope you were able to get everything that you didn't write down filled in so that you have all the information. See you the next time we meet.